Hey, I'm Alan Knowles here for LA Sleeve. We're going to give you some information on how we do valve jobs, uh, what is a valve job, and how we can make power with a performance valve job. And we're going to give you the rundown on different ways that people and the different equipment people use to do valve jobs. And I'll start with that first. Got a drawing here of a valve job. Um, people think that a valve job has left with a valve. It really doesn't. This is basically a, a valve. The valve has, typical valves have a 45 degree face. That 45 degree angle needs to seat up against the valve seat. That's this 45. These two need to match. And this is what happens through the life of a, a motor, especially in a hostile environment like dirt. Um, you'll see some cupping of this, of the valve itself on a worn out valve. And then also the, the seat gets rounded. Then you have a, a, you don't have a good match. Valves don't seal. Your motor doesn't want to start, start having issues. Um, and if you have a shop that you pull a valve out and you see that it's cupped, you always want to look yourself. You can't trust everybody. I've seen shops that has a curved surface and they'll just put a new valve in it. And then within just a few hours, eight, 10 hours, it's going to make this kind of match that and you're back to not seating. So anytime you need to put a valve in, you also need a valve job. That's really important. Um, there's, I'll show you some samples of stuff what's used to doing valve jobs. This is an old system that Honda used to use. These are just stones and they have the three different angles, a 45, a 60, and a 30 top angle and they just take it and grind them into it. And that's an acceptable valve job for some equipment, not a performance valve job. Uh, there's nothing you know that I would let that happen on my motor because you won't get a perfect seal, especially when you have titanium valves. You need a really good seal with a titanium valve so it, it has to be right. Um, next in line is, uh, these are called new way cutters. Um, these are acceptable if you have a lawnmower or some kind of a tractor, not a performance job. Um, that's a new way cutter and they come with you know three different angles uh, and a valve good job will be done. But if somebody tries to take a performance motor and do a valve job with this, grab your head and run. Don't let this happen. This is not good stuff. It won't get a really good seal. And of course, then you're trying to make it seal with lapping and you can't lap a titanium valve because it takes coating off. So acceptable ways to do it. Uh, Surty machines use what they call a form tool. This is a form tool for a Surty machine. Um, basically, this form tool has the valve job in it. It's got a 45, a 30, a 60. It just goes in and it basically scrapes the valve job. And this, there's a lot of machines that run these form tools. Uh, Rottler makes a machine, Surtees, there's several. And this does a pretty acceptable valve job. Um, it's not the top end of a performance valve job. Um, the problem is, because it's a form tool, realistically, you start trying to cut too much to make more power, because we all know how to change angles and make that, and it's, it gets real expensive to try to do it right, so people don't, they just feed the tool in, call it good, and there you go. If you try to do too much, it starts to chatter. And even at that, because it is a form tool, you're gonna have some chatter. So you don't get as good a seal as like a CNC machine. Cutter for the new and CNC machine. And it's just cutting off the point. And of course, the machine is profiling your valve job, how you want to run. And we'll show you the machine running and uh, how it works and what it's all about. And uh, get you in line to get one of these jobs done. Okay, what we do is we start off by uh, uh, just touching to let the machine know where that 45 is. So we're going to spin up and do that right now. It's centering itself. And I've probably got the cutter as maybe as much as 10 thousandths off the 45 degree. And now we're going to walk our way down at about half a thousandths. There we go, we just barely touch. You see a real light line possibly. Stop. And now we're gonna go down to the bottom of our cut.
This is your basic valve job, 30, 45, 60. 60 is real long, just goes to a 90. Um, it's easy to make, that's why the manufacturers do it. Doesn't flow well. When we're doing a performance valve job, uh, basically the top angle might be to stay the same. Uh, sometimes we, to make it cleaned up, we might uh, de-shroud and even go out here and, and, and get rid of some of the aluminum in here so we get a good flow to the valve. 45, uh, again, the, the width of the 45 can change slightly performance. We're gonna run a 60, typically compared to the uh, 60 of stock, we're gonna run a much shorter 60, and then we're gonna run another angle off the 60s, 80, 77, 78, somewhere in there, and then we're gonna do another angle here to get down there. So we're actually gonna open up the throat for, to, to enhance the flow and enhance the performance. So it's, it's, it's gonna pick up the flow numbers, especially at low lift. That's where you gain the power, and that's what's important. And when you do a performance valve job, it has no impact on durability. It just makes more power. The durability is strictly the width of the 45 contact patch. And for most, in most cases, they're gonna be the identical 45 contact patch. Everything around is what we change to make the flow numbers come up to make horsepower. And then when we really shine, especially on big valves, what happens with a lot of shops to do a big valve job, they're just gonna move the 45 out here, then they're gonna have a much longer 60, and the throat of the, is the same as before. And it doesn't really, it's, you've got a big valve fitting in the hole, but it doesn't really flow like a big valve. Where when we do it, because it's a CNC and a cut's a cut, it doesn't make any difference to us, we're gonna feed it the right numbers. We're gonna really get the throat numbers up and we can really get the flow numbers up when we have even more material to work with, like on a big, big valve job uh, or changing out seats. So there's a performance valve job. That's what you wanna do. Um, our stuff is gonna be completely concentric because the way a CNC does it, does its job, the head is locked, so it's cutting, and you can pressure test them. You don't have to lap them. They're, you, even with titanium, stainless, whatever you got, when we do a valve job, you don't lap it. It's 100% it's seal right off the machine.